if it is or if it ain't, it's going to come out. It's your girl, Miracle Sims, and you are listening to God, Sex, and Love, your daily dose of inspiration, the juice. It is February the 8th, 2022, and today the topic is patience. Well, y'all, to be completely honest, y'all almost slightly didn't get a little juice this morning. Y'all almost didn't. I, apparently, I fell asleep on my prayer meditation <laughs> with the Soul Space app. Um... So I don't even remember what that said or was about at all. Um, <laughs> and I missed my contingency plan, my husband's call, because um, something's, something's going on with my device. It's like I have to, like, silence the notifications. In order to silence the notifications, I also have to silence the ring. And, um, yeah, so I got to look into that. I don't know, but... <laughs> Well, I'm going to see what I can do about that. But anyway, I fell asleep. I almost did not. Um, so by the time I did wake back up, I woke back up around like 5, 11, which y'all know I'm usually almost recording around that time. Good morning. Shout out to the person that's watching live. <laughs> um, I'm usually recording maybe around sometime around 5, which I, I mean, I still am, but yeah. <laughs> um, so when so the interesting thing was I looked up a verse um, and it led me to, um, I think it was James 5, 11. And going deeper about that verse led me to the word patience because I kept seeing the word patient, patient. That's the word I kept seeing. And so I looked that up. I looked up patience and here we are. Here's, here we are. That gave me the inspiration for today's juice. I don't know who you are watching live. I would love to shout you out. So if you want to comment or something like that, that would be great. Um, speaking of last night, man. Okay. So yesterday, just to give y'all an update on yesterday. I mean, uh, you know me, the hustler from home, you know what I'm doing. Um, <laughs> that was the normal stuff, but I guess the, the thing that I did that was unique yesterday, I was on, uh, what's the mood Mondays. Um, it's Miss Keisha Hall's, uh, platform I was on. Um, I am Keisha Hall on her Instagram live yesterday. And, um, sharing, going a little deeper with everything. Um, you should be able to see the replay on her page, but if not, check out Actress Miracle Sims on YouTube. I did upload it there as well. You guys can catch your girl, you know, very me. <laughs> Y'all can catch me. Um, I was live on her IG, just chit-chatting, having a good old time, sharing about everything I got going on and everything like that. So, yeah, that's what I was doing yesterday. Um, I had to push through, y'all. I had to push through and work out. So, you know, <laughs> praise God for that. Because, uh, you know, I almost didn't work out yesterday. Michael Vertner! Hey! Pastor Michael Vertner hanging out with me this morning. Good morning to you, sir. Thank you so, so much for tuning in. <laughs> Look, maybe the Lord let me wake up right on time so I can talk to you this morning. Um, I've been seeing you post and whatnot lately. Um... You know, you welcome back to GSL any old time. <laughs> but thank you for tuning in to the juice this morning. So, um, yeah, so um I had to push through yesterday to cause after I after I did the show with her, um, and I'm doing my little promo stuff, then um I had to grab something to eat, and then after I did that, I had to push through and do my workout. And I did that, took a shower. I, but I ended up going to bed kind of late, like maybe like around midnight because I ended up chit-chatting with a friend of mine. He was live and I was chit-chatting with him while he was live for a while. And so that was that was something. But anyway, so I guess all of that is what led up to me uh, recording at this late time. <laughs> he said, you welcome. Yes, yes, yes. Y'all got to tune in to this guy. Clergy talk. Clergy talk is on the line right now. <laughs> but um, But yeah, so... Uh, but hey, I guess, you know, like I said, the Lord woke me up right on time again to to do this this morning. Led me to the word patient. 
And um, that led me to these verses and this definition and things like that. And so we'll see what the Lord, you know, say and do through me this morning. But um, this is what I came across. So when I looked up the definition of patience, it says the capacity to accept or tolerate delay, trouble or suffering without getting angry or upset. That's the part, right? Like going through these things without getting angry or upset. Um, I mean, just talking about the definition, so much to say about that. Um, you know what I was reminded of when I read that definition? Um, I was reminded of the verse that starts off with love is patient, love is kind, love is X, Y, and Z. Patient is first, right? And, um... I don't know. I just kind of reflected on that this morning as I as I read that definition. But here go some verses that I came across this morning. So, you know, let's see. Let's see. <laughs> Romans 12 and 12 says, Rejoice in hope. Be patient in tribulation. Be constant in prayer. I mean, I guess that's that part we struggle with, right? We struggle with being patient in tribulation. We struggle with as that ver um, or as that definition says, being able to tolerate uh, those things without getting angry or upset. Um, I think we see we see each other getting upset about things more than anything, right? Um, but obviously, you know, this is how the Bible says we should, you know, uh, handle these things, right? We should uh, be patient in tribulation and constant in prayer. And I mean, maybe. I don't know. You can tell me past the mic, but uh, I was sitting here thinking, I'm like, you know, maybe at, the more constant we stay in prayer, then the less angry we'll get about stuff, right? Like, I mean, I mean, I guess you could, pr maybe you could pray and be angry, but I think eventually, if you're constant in prayer, like the Bible says, you know, I think you can't stay angry by doing that. Now, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I don't know. I, I, I never... I never thought about that before. Like, you know, can I continue to be angry when I'm constant in prayer? I feel like staying constant in prayer would shift your mind to God, right? It'll and, and, and that alone will be something to help you in that aspect to not be angry. But hey, I don't know. Y'all could try it though, right? What we can do is try this and see. But Galatians 6 and 9, it says, And let us not grow weary in doing good. For in due season we will reap if we do not give up. So, I mean, yeah, it's again one of those things that is reminding us or telling us that we need to be patient, you know. Um, and, and we can. Like, sometimes we do get weary in doing good, right? Sometimes we get tired. Um, actually, I was sharing about that yesterday um, on the ladies' platform. I was sharing about, you know, the cultivation period, you know, <laughs> and how I, um, at times, I would be like, Lord, why do, why me? Why do I have to care? Like, I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm the only little little Christian woman over here caring about this stuff that you, <laughs> that you said in the Bible and all this. And now I'm trying to live my life accordingly. But I look around and all these people, you know, doing whatever they want to do. And I want to do whatever I want to do, but I can't. <laughs> <laughs> but eventually, the more I prayed about it, like, even now, like, I laugh about it because I, I remember those moments, man. I remember looking up at a guy like, man, what, why, why me? Like, why I got to care, you know? Um, but again, as I prayed and as I went to him with my issues and requests and all those things, then, you know, um, obviously, I, it helped me to be patient, right? It helped me to um, not focus on those things or that the things that people quote unquote get away with, but focus more so on him and what he wanted. Right. Um, let me see. He says, Pastor Mike says, peace is what we strive for even during the challenging times. Yes. Yes. You know, um, and that's the thing. Um, again, you know, when we think about evil and the, the troubles and the things of life, um, I see people focusing on that more than God, right? They focus on that more than being patient and, and, and um, I mean, I guess allowing things to play out, right? Um, and again, I think people, we all just want something in our own time, right? We want it to happen when we want it to happen. <laughs> but um, 
again, I believe that like that first verse said, being constant in prayer will, will shift your mind and, and under, help you understand that, okay, in God's timing, this or that is going to happen in God's timing. And, um, and then like the second verse is saying, so if I'm doing good, right, if I'm doing, if I'm doing well or well doing, then, um, you know, don't get tired of doing that. Just keep doing that. Keep doing what I'm supposed to do. Right. And, um, wait on God. That's what I'm gathering here. Uh, you know, that's what I'm gathering here. But let's see. Um, do, 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 do. Romans 8 and 25, it says, But if we hope for what we do not see, we wait for it with patience. I mean, yes, yeah, sounds like faith to me. Um, that's what it sounds like to me. Um, hoping for what we do not see. Um, and there, and there you go again. So when it says patience, right? What is, what is that really saying? It's saying we're we're waiting for it, right? Without getting <laughs> angry or upset, if we look at that definition. Um, so again, this is the challenge for a lot of us. You know, uh, I, I had to deal with it at times, y'all. I, I think I've shared on here sometimes where I've been a little bit impatient and um, been wanting things when I wanted it and whatnot. But you know. Um, I think, I guess, by even by confessing those sins or confessing those thoughts and things like that um, and praying and all those things helped me to, um, I guess, get to where I am now when it comes to being patient and not um, being so quick to get upset, you know? Um, Pastor Mike says, true, we went, we want stuff right now. <laughs> Right, you know, and I think maybe it's because it's just the convenience of life these days. Like, there's so many things that we could just, we just have so much easy access to, right? Like they say, like, microwave, you know, this or that, or like, um, you know, the fact that we could just get on a device and just look up whatever we want and all these different things. We just think that, I guess we think God should should work that way, right? <laughs> Fast the bike. Is that what we think? <laughs> we think God should be that way. But really, I mean, um, we're on his time, right? Um we're, things are going to work according to his plan. And so, um, yeah, I mean, so yeah, if we're out here, if we're feeling like, you know, we're, we're looking for something or we're waiting for something that we don't see, um, do it with patience, do it with patience. And, um, you know, wait on God. That's what I say. <laughs> you good, Pastor Mike. I feel you. I understood what you were saying. <laughs> Now, um, there are several verses in the Go Deeper section, y'all, so many, um, but I hope that they encourage you and inspire you to uh, do this, be patient and everything like that. Um, I guess I won't get into all of them, but I know that I think love, and patient, love is patient, love is kind is one of those that are in the Go Deeper section. But uh, this one that I came across that I guess I want to leave y'all with when it comes to this conversation of patience is... Uh, Colossians 3 and 12, it says, put on then as God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, compassionate hearts, kindness, humility, meekness, and patience. So, I mean, again, you know, if we're going to be believers, right, if we're going to be, you know, followers of Christ and everything like that, it seems that this is how we need to be operating. We don't need to be quick tempered and, and out here just, you know, um, expecting God to do what we want them to do and, and getting angry about it, right? Getting upset about it um, or getting about upset about any of the things of life. I mean, I get that it's so tough because I, I tend to think a lot about um, the, the the things that I've been exposed to since 2020, right? And I know a lot of people are upset. Um, a lot of people are upset about like the state of the world, the state of the U.S. Um, they're upset about things that are going on behind the scenes, you know, people are upset, they want to do something about it. And I get it. Um, you know, I, I believe that there are things that we can do, you know, but at the same time, I feel like perhaps uh, the main focus should be more so on God, right? And, and praying and allowing him to do what he do versus us feeling like we're going to have to take things in our own hands or whatnot. Um, because I, I just, I don't know. I guess in my little humble opinion, it just makes it seem as if, you know, it's not going to work that way. And then, and then we're, we're angry, right? We're angry about it, that it's not happening in our time in the way that we think. So, um, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I just feel like I keep being led back to that every time I 
think about things like that. I think about patience and I think about like, <sighs> you know, people are, are upset about like all these evil people <laughs> that are uh, seemingly in control and, and doing all these things behind the scenes and whatnot. And like I said, I get it. I get it. Um, but I mean, I think, you know, again, do what you can, right? If you have some type of power to do something to change whatever, I mean, yeah, do what you can. Obviously be led by God. But at the end of the day, I think we should shift our minds to, you know, praying, you know, waiting on God, being patient, not getting upset. Um, I get and allowing things to play out. Allowing things to play out the way that he has it. Um, I know that's tough. You know, I know that's like not the easiest thing to do. <laughs> uh, be patient and all that. But um it's what we're supposed to do, especially as believers. So I hope that we reflect on that verse, Colossians 3 and 12. And um, I guess make that our prayer. If we're, if we're not doing that, then I, um, then I hope that we uh, at least get in our minds to start. And I guess that's the juice, y'all. That's the juice this morning. But the Bible verse of today is Hebrews 4 and 12. It says, for the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow and is that thing on the way there? Yeah, I go with my writing. Oh, Lord. Oh, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Friends, I hope you all enjoyed this juice this morning. Thank you so much for listening to God, Sex, and Love. Your daily dose of inspiration, the juice. I pray you guys can go forth and have a wonderful day. And I look forward to talking to you all tomorrow. It's the Lord's will. Bye-bye. Hello, Charmers. Visit ttcboutique.com for the latest in fashion accessories. Twice the Charm, the source of women clothing.